is Charles, Liberty Death Originals again, vlog number 21. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what I wish someone told me or showed me or talked to me about at, say, 18 years old, about money and what it is and what to do with it and how to use it. You know, usually just going through school, you're just learning things. Um, I mean, like, I'm not an expert at this. I'm just now getting started, just boom, you know, uh, Something clicked in my head just maybe two, three, I don't know, four or five years ago when I started working towards being able to use money to my advantage. I'm just now getting to where I can actually start something or try to build something because um, I've allowed myself to have the extra cash with my normal job to do something, to start something. Um, but anyway, what I wish they would have told me is is what to do with your money after you get that job. Because in school it's like, okay, you're learning, you know, go to a vocational school, go to college, get a good job, start making money, but they don't tell you what to do with it. Right, can anybody comment on that? If you do, please comment below. I'll also like this, share it. Um, this is what I've been trying to pass to some of the uh, younger people I, I come across. I know that's starting to make pretty decent money. You know, they're like, hey, I'm gonna buy this new Jeep. I'm gonna buy this new truck. You know, and they're like, oh, it's gonna be $800 a month. I'm like, do you need that as a reason? Or are you trying to, you know, impress somebody? They're like, no, I always want one. I'm like, that's fine if it makes you, you, you happy. But you gotta look into the future if you wanna be able to have that and still do what you want. Because I know how it used to be, you know, had a decent house, a nice car, all the payments. Oh, yeah, I can afford it, but what do I have left? And then when your buddy's like, hey, let's go skiing, you know, for the weekend in, in Tahoe. You're like, oh, I don't have the cash. Or if you don't have it, you're like, oh, I'll just borrow some more from credit and go. And you put yourself more in debt. And you're like, man, I got now I got this to pay off. And then you're, you know, trading other things that you want to do because you don't have the cash because of a, you know, something you really don't need. It's cool and all, but if you can't afford it and you can't do what else that makes you happy, especially with it, then it's not worth it. But anyway, what you do with money once you have some, you know, try to live a little bit below what you ultimately could month to month. So you have that extra income to save, depending on what you want to do. If you want to start a business, if you want to, um, invest in something, but you know, it takes money. That's what a lot, if you do some, some research, all these entrepreneurs, you know, millionaires, billionaires, unless they, you know, unless they were, they won the lottery or they got some, you know, big inheritance or something like that. Most of them started just like, you know, any, anybody else, you know, they, most of them saved their money for several years. And then when the opportunity came, Boom, they had the money to act, right? So, it, like when they say it takes money to make money, to make real money, yes, that is true. So, if, especially when you're young, until all the young ones, that's what I wish I was told, how money works. That's why, you know, you know your parents or whoever's always good when you're young, here, save your money, get, you know, birthday money, Christmas money, save it, save it, save it. But they, but they could never really, I haven't ever heard anybody really tell anybody, why you need to to save it yes i can save it you know how long am i going to save a year two years Ooh, i'll build up two three hundred dollars Ooh, i can get a cool bicycle that costs three hundred dollars no instead of saying okay if you save it and you accrue money then you can invest it into assets that make you more money that's called wealth being wealthy so the first thing is just to start and just try hey it might not work out i'm not an expert i'm just getting going you know, um, I'm I'm definitely haven't been successful at you know what I've started. I'm just I've just started this Liver Death Originals, um, my wife's online uh, boat boutique. Um, you know, but we have the extra money to try something, and if it don't work out, it's not going to hurt us. It's going to suck. You know, it's never good to lose to lose money, but at least we can start and try to accumulate wealth so we can do things that we want to without having to give up other things that we also have or like and 
Also, if you have enough, you can also help others. It makes it a whole lot easier to be able to help others, right? Um, so, so think about it. Do your research. You know, how these you know, billionaires, successful people that you think is, is successful or, and they are so bad. You know, most people that you know billionaire and trillionaires have this bad rep. But if you look back in their beginning stages, they didn't have much. They slept in their office, they slept in their cars, they saved their money. Or when they did something, they made it big, they got it, they used it to gain assets to do something with their money that they made. So think about that, especially when you're 18. That's what I wish somebody would have told me when I was 18, instead of when I was 18. You know, when I turned 19, I think I got my first car, my truck back, you know, early 2000s, $19,000 four-wheel drive Dodge Dakota V8. Yeah, it was cool. It also cost me a total of what, three, like $600 a month with truck payment and insurance. I think if I would've just out and paid for a car up front, because I did put a pretty good down payment down, and five, six thousand dollars I could've got a decent car for five, six thousand dollars just paid, paid my insurance, only had about two, three hundred dollars in insurance, because I was young and insurance is not cheap. Um, then I would've had an extra, you know, three, four hundred dollars a month to do something else and invest. And by now, who, who knows where that three or $400 a month would, would be. So that's what I wish somebody would have told me was to figure out taxes, how the government works, how uh, to accumulate wealth instead of just spending it as soon as you, you get it and trying to look like you're wealthy by having loans on cars, your houses, yeah, that's the only thing I have right now. I do have a house. I do have a mortgage. You know, I was able to uh, take care of every, everything else. So really, I mean, and you no, know, depends on who, you, who you're talking to, whether a uh, mortgage is an asset or not. A lot of people say no, which you are putting out. But may, but if the market's right and you can sell, then it may be. You might make some money. But anyway, re remember, think back about what you wish somebody would have told you at 18. And maybe if you are at 18, 18 to 25, 30 years old, you know, what are you doing with your money? And what can you do better to actually make wealth, not to just look like you're wealthy? Until next time, take it easy. Hey everyone, I'm back. One more to this last video. Hey, if you're happy with what you're currently doing and you're cool with it, keep doing it. But if you're not, Take into consideration what we just talked about. Catch you later.